Consistent routines. Follow up. Follow up. Back there somewhere. Event. Event. Calling. Calling. Oh my God. Calling. Who in this room calls for business? Half of the room. Good for you. The other half of the room. You're going to have to start doing that, people. As scary may seem, you have to pick up the phone and start dialing. We have to take it back to the basics. So I started doing real estate sales eight years ago, and I started doing sales like this just because in my mind, um, I knew that someone eventually will open the door and say, yes, I want to sell. Yes, I want to buy. So to me, it was very common sense. I didn't know... You know, not even this much of what I know now, but in my mind, it was common sense. I'm looking for a buyer. I'm looking for a seller. Where are they? On, 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 in their house. I'm going to go find them. So after thousands of doors, I kid you not, probably thousands of doors, not hundreds, thousands of doors, I uh, finally came to the right guy. I door knocked a house, and the lady, I had a great conversation with her, and she said, you know, mijo, I'm not ready, but I'll keep your business card. I promise I'll call you when I'm ready. I said, okay, no, wor no, no worries. And I go to the next door, and I see a gentleman washing his car at Yukon on one knee, scrubbing his wheel. And I said, sir, quick question. My name is JJ. I'm a local uh, real estate professional. My wife, uh, Ruby. Um, I just have one question for you. And, and I remember him, him uh, stopping what he was doing and look, looking up at, uh, uh, to me. And, um, and he said, yes. And I said, have you ever considered selling your home? And guess what happened? He said, yes. <laughs> well, first he got up because he was on one knee. And he looked at me and he said, as a matter of fact, yes. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, in my, like, in my head, in my mind, I was jumping up and down. Because after oh, thousands, I, I'm, I'm serious, it, it was thousands of doors, months of me door knocking, they finally said yes. And I remember looking at my wife, she was standing on the, right, on the left side of me, and I remember looking at my, uh, my wife in the corner of my eye, and her jaw just dropped. <laughs> because what do you think we were getting when I was asking people that same question? What do you think I was getting? No, 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 no I'm ready. Get out of here. Freaking people slamming their, their door in my face. People being rude to me. Everything that we were getting before that was no, 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 no. And when that yes finally came, oh my God, her jaw dropped. Mine, it was like, Fuck yeah! <laughs> you know how long I have been waiting for that yes? In my head, every fucking day, and I'm, I'm sorry if I throw some comfort, uh, F words, okay? In my mind, every effing day. You're in the right office. Okay, good. Who said that? Who said that? I like you already. In my mind. <laughs> in my mind every day every morning I was saying that to me today it's going to be the day today will be the day today someone's going to say yes to me today is going to literally freaking be excited about working with me I was hyping myself I was preparing myself for that yes I didn't know when it was going to come but I just knew it was, it was going to be a matter of time and sure enough that day came oh my god oh my god oh my god beg remember yes like okay, it was yesterday? Yes. So what happened? Well, guess what happened? I said, well, all right then. I said, sir, uh, we could do two things. I'll come back later and tour your house, or if you want to show it to me right now. He said, no, well, listen, I'm ready. Let, let, let me put this down. He puts his stuff down, scrub or whatever he was using to wash his uh, wheels. And he's... He starts taking us inside. We looked at the house, and I can you not, people. I, it's, it's like I was there, like if I was, if it was yesterday. And I remember looking at the house, and I remember him showing me this, showing me that, and like very excited about his house. And I don't remember shit he said. <laughs> I was so, I was like. <laughs> like, like I was like, like I was so excited, right? But 
But I was excited, but I was also preparing myself to what's going to come after. What do you think was going to come after that? Nice. The clothes. Yeah. The listing appointment. You know how many freaking times I prepared for that freaking listing appointment? A lot. A lot. Every effing day, I will practice my listing presentation, my listing presentation, my listing presentation, because I knew it was going to be a matter of time before somebody said yes. And sure enough, he, you know, finished showing me the house and everything else. And I said, okay, good. Um, so, two things. You give me about two hours so I could run in my office literally two blocks away, prepare everything, come back and present to you, or come back tomorrow, which was best. And I remember him looking at me and said, um, tell you what, how about I just come to your office tomorrow? I was like, okay, I like that. <laughs> what time do you want what, what time do you want to stop by my office? We set it up, and because it was it was my very first presentation, um, I was thrown off. Like I didn't really know how to do it, but I did a lot of YouTube research. Right? Uh, I spoke to my broker back then and I said, hey, listen, guess what? It's here. What do I do? What, how do you do it? And then I've, uh, I called him and I said, listen, I, why don't I just come to your, to your home and I, I can do a presentation at your home. Sure enough, I came to his house, did a, a presentation. Long story short, we ended up taking that listing, thank God. We ended up selling that listing, thank God. And a week after that, I took my second listing. Door knocking. People, I am telling you right now, when I say it's time to go back to the basics, it's time to go back to the basics. Some of us were too spoiled in this in this market. Some of us were like just chilling, waiting for the phone to ring. Some of us were just waiting for that DN to come through. Yes or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time to go back to the basics. Listen, I know that in this new market it's not a matter of whether you're going to make it through because i believe that everyone in this room we're all going to make it through the, the question is how are you going to come out at the end the same or are you going to win and you're going to thrive and you're going to pivot in this new market that's just it i know we're all going to make it i believe that the question is how are you going to make it are you going to pivot or are you going to stay the same? I did a presentation last week and somebody here, was it you? That, that you said that you're at Vive uh, here in uh, Granada Hills. And there was, I don't know, four or 500 people mm -hmm. that, in, that, in that seminar. And one of my very first opening quotes was, um, uh, during uh, most self-made millionaires are made during recessions. What do you think we're in? Recession. Who in this room wants to become a millionaire during our recession? Everyone should be freaking yeah. raising their hands, feet, everything. <laughs> you, you get me? And I, 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 I don't just believe that. That is a, a fact, people. Look it up. Why? Because during recessions, during the times that things get tough, people are really take a step back and we start strategizing. Thinking different, yes or no? Yes. yes. Thinking about, well, maybe a little side hustle, maybe I, you know, I should do this, maybe I should reinvent myself, maybe I should go ahead and, and, and uh, position myself a little different in the market. Now is the time for us to do that, people. And that's, that is why I'm excited to uh, go over the business planning for 2023 with, with this room, because I believe that if you have that plan of action to attack, with a great strategy, you're going to thrive. You're going to pivot. You're going to win. So, again, people, JJ Hara and real estate sales. I've, uh, I did that for, I'm still doing real estate sales, but not directly. You know, most of the business it now gets handled by my wife and the team. Uh, five years ago, I started coaching people on real estate sales. Now, I, I coach people on, on real estate sales and also in real estate investing. Okay. Uh, two years ago, we started investing in Cleveland, Ohio. Who knows where Cleveland, Ohio is? Okay, if you don't know, that's okay. I don't know where the F it was either. I had to Google it. <laughs> um, but, 
but we started investing in Cleveland, Ohio two years ago. We started with a duplex. Now we're on track to close and own over 100 doors, mm. okay? Wow. Why do I say that, people? Because we have to strategize different. We have to think different. We have to plan different. You understand? In, in, a, in the life of a salesperson, if you don't sell, do you get paid? No. no. Okay, good. I didn't want to be selling forever, so I started planning a little different, doing things a little different, investing in properties that cash flow us every single month. How much? Up to you. Some of us could be okay with $5,000 a month. Some of us 10, 15, 20, 50, 100, I don't know. We're all different here, right? But I just know that it has to start with business planning. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with this. Um, if you have a, your business plan in front of you, we're going to do some recap of 2022. People lie, numbers don't. Get extra one. Anybody need one? Anybody need one? People lie, numbers don't. Thank you. This is a part where you cannot lie to yourself, okay? If you're embarrassed about your numbers, that's okay. Hide them. <laughs> don't let your neighbor see it. If you kicked ass in 2022, you're going to be like, yeah. <laughs> big bold letter. You're going to be like, can I borrow a marker here? <laughs> the truth of the matter is, you know, a good 7 to 8% of real estate agents don't sell enough. Those are just true facts. Okay? That's okay. We have to shake it off, plan ahead, re-strategize, reinvent ourselves, and go after for the next year. That's why we're doing okay? So don't lie to yourself, please. Uh, keep it real. Just write down how much income you earned in 2022. My accomplishments. There's got to be at least one or two things that you accomplished in 2022. Could be personal or business. You understand? People, write it down. What was it? Write it down. What was it that, that one thing that you, you accomplished in 2022 that, that you really wanted to do it and you, you actually did it? Write it down. It could be one or two or three, whichever. And you'll see where I'm going with this, okay? See, I believe that in order for us to keep, continue moving, we have to have those small little wins throughout the year. I mean, we have to have wins every day. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Waking up, is that a win? Yes. F yeah. <laughs> Thank you, God. One more time. One more day. Let's go. That's a win. How about waking up before the, 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 the masses? Is that a win? Yes. Like waking up at 5, 6? That's another win. You see, if, if you start stacking up your little wins, by the time you hit 12 o'clock, you're already winning. You're winning. People are looking at you like, what's wrong with JJ? Why is he walking like a G? You <laughs> know, I've been winning all morning. You get me? <laughs> right? Yes or no? Like, there's some people that, you know, we just walk like, 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 you know, it's not that we're cocky or just, you know, you just know, like, you got it. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been like this, but I guess. Right? <laughs> But, 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 but imagine, as a salesperson, you have to walk with a level of confidence, yes or no? Yes. yes. You have to walk with a smile every now and then, yes or no? Yes. yes. You have to carry yourself in, in a way where people want to do business with you, yes or no? Yes. yes. Starts with little wins, which uh, they become accomplishments. Write them down, okay? Now, the next thing I want you to do is what was that one thing that you wanted to accomplish 2022, yet you didn't? Oh, my God. All of us, we all have them. We all said, oh, I was going to you know, go to the gym every day, Monday to Friday. I'm going to get all cut up, right? Yes or no, I'm going to drop like 10 pounds, and we gained 10 pounds. <laughs> right? Talking to you. <laughs> like, 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 like people, listen, it's all right. It happens to all of us. What's the one thing you want to accomplish in 2022, but you didn't? Write it down. The next question is, how did it make you feel? People, I want this shit to hurt. 
I want you guys to feel the pain of saying that you're going to do something, yet you didn't. Now, listen, if it didn't pain you, if it didn't hurt you, if it's like whatever, it wasn't really that big of a deal to you. You understand? I believe that whatever we put out there in the universe, it will become a reality sooner or later. If you really want it that bad, the universe and God and everything we believe in know, it knows when we really want it. But it, but it also knows when we're just bullshitting. <laughs> and we're just trying to like, eh, yeah, whatever. So write down the one thing that you wanted to accomplish in 2022, but you didn't. How did it make you feel? Write it down. You know, at, at one of the many presentations I did in the last uh, month, uh, someone said, I, 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 I wanted to lose weight, JJ. I said I was going to drop 50 pounds, and I didn't. And I said, oh, okay, that's interesting. So... And he said, he said in front of like 70, 80 people, right? And I said, let me ask you, how did it make you feel? And you, you, you guys want to know what he said? He said, make me feel fat. It makes me feel fat, nasty, and I don't like it. Good. What are you going to do about it? Whatever it takes, I'm done. Next year, as a matter of fact, I'm starting today. Do you understand? Now, that was a personal thing. How about business-wise? I'm going to close 50 deals. Five deals only. Oh, shit. I didn't make you feel knowing that you could have, but you only did this much. How did it make your family feel? Your kids, if we have any kids, that were relying on you closing X amount of deals so you could take them to Disneyland, to the Bahamas, take your family to a nice, uh, to your wife, your husband to a nice vacation, your parents, buy yourself a brand new car. How did it make you feel that you could have, yet you didn't? See, I really want you guys to feel that pain. Because unless you feel that pain of knowing that Man, I could have, but I didn't because of whatever reason, you nothing's going to change. You with me? <clears throat> Breaking down the numbers, people. Next page, please. Write down your present inventory. L for listings. S for sales. How many listings do you, pre you, you currently have in your inventory? How many sales? And then I want you to put down the estimated commission for that. If you have two listings, and each of one, each and every one of those listings is going to make you out of ten thousand dollars commission, it's twenty thousand dollars for both. Sales the same, two sales, ten thousand dollars commission. That's another twenty thousand dollars. Break it down. And then I want you to write down right below it your total present inventory, meaning how much do you have on sales and in your listings. So I remember when I was doing just strictly sales, the last quarter was one of my, my favorite quarters. Can I tell you why? Because I knew that as, as a real estate professional, I knew that most real estate colleagues normally take time off or check out during the holiday season. And so I knew for me as a door knocker, as a call caller, I knew that there's gonna be less colleagues calling and less colleagues door knocking. And so I used to capitalize on the last quarter of the year because I knew everybody was checked out. And so when it came down to doing my business plan at the, the end of the year, those numbers looked very, very good. Very good. Why? Because I wanted my first quarter to be even better. See, I believe that when you finish your last quarter strong, your first quarter is even stronger. Because what happens after the holidays? People get back, yes or no? 
Do we get back a fit cut or like a little bit, a little bit more, a couple extra pounds from all the eating we did? You know, with some of us coming back from vacation, we're like still in vacation mode. We get back to the office first, second uh, of the January, and we're kind of like, hey, so how's your holidays? Where do you go? What do you get for Christmas? Blah 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 blah. JJ was already going. I had a momentum from from the last quarter. I was already closing, closing, closing when most of my colleagues were trying to figure out, wait a minute, well, what should I do for 2022 or 2021 or 2019? See, most people don't even have a business plan. Most people, they just show up the next year and, all right, what am I going to do this year? Shit, um, I don't know. It's a little cold, so I think I'm just going to call. Yes or no? Like uh, most people, they just wing it. And so I, I know that this is going to make a big difference, all right? So number one, your goal for 2022, write it down. What was your goal for 2022? What was your goal for 2022? How many sales, how many total transactions do you want to close in, in, uh, in 2022? Write it down. Number two, how many listings did you actually take in 2022? How about your total sales? Wait, yes, sir. Difference between my sales and my closed deals. Yes. What's the difference between them? Yeah, so your your uh, your your sales will be you know buyer sales. sales. Okay. Closed deals is combined. Combined. Okay. My total close, how many do you end up close in the year? Some of us have some pending that it will still close hopefully this year. Okay, count it. Put it in the bank. I know in this industry it's not close until it closes, but let's just have some blind faith that it's gonna go through. Yes? Mm -hmm. Let's 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 be positive about it. How many days do you think or do you know that you actually work in 2022? How many days do you take off? See, those numbers are going to be very important because we are going to a different market that most of us, we're going to have to sacrifice our weekends. Some of us, instead of going to vacation, we're going to have to work. It's just, it's a different market, people. You got to understand. And when you understand what we're going ourselves into or what we're going into, you're going to know how to approach it. We, we can't um, just kind of be like whatever about what is happening. It's here, people. It's happening. And so we have to approach it a little different. So I want you guys to look at what you did in 2022 <clears throat> so we can realize and know what we have to do for 2023. It has to be almost like a day and night. Do you understand? And how many days do you feel like you prospected in 2022? Who knows what prospecting is? Please, everyone, tell me. You all know what prospecting is. What's what's prospecting to you? Door knocking, cold calling, calling your sphere. Yes, yes. Thank you for that. Local events. Yes, people. Prospecting is when you actually ask someone for business. See, showing up to the office, you, you guys have a beautiful office here. I love this. Showing up to the office, just to show up, it's not prospecting. It's not working. In our, in, in our, in our industry, if you are not asking for business, prospecting, you're simply not working. Don't fool yourself. Okay? You have to prospect. What is prospecting? Good. Door knocking, calling. Who do I call, JJ? Call, start with your family members, with your friends, your sphere of influence. After you're done doing that, call expired. Call for sale by owners. Call for rent signs. NODs, we're gonna start seeing a lot of those. Call, call, call. I'm done calling, JJ. What should I do next? Good. Start posting on social media. Start pitching on social media. 
Start DMing people on social media. That's another new way to prospect. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, absolutely. What do I say, JJ? Whatever you will say if they're in front of you. What do you want to sell? You want to, you want to look for a buyer or a seller? Uh, a buyer. Okay, good. So the message should be towards the buyer. Better yet, I want you to record yourself. What do you mean, JJ? Record myself. <laughs> yeah, you know, your phone has a camera. Yeah, record yourself. Your name? Melanie. Melvin, how are you doing? This is JJ Howard. Hey, listen, your local uh, and favorite real estate agent. Uh, just wanted to go and send this video to let you know that uh, the, co the holidays are here. And uh, during the holidays, a lot of people buy houses. As a matter of fact, there's great programs that are available out there right now that can help you with most of your money, uh, down payment, and in closing costs. So, Melanie, give me a call back if you're interested in setting up a five, 10 minute uh, consultation. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye. Boom, be a DM. Can we all do that in this room, yes or no? Yes. yes. Are we all doing it? No. 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 Okay, there you go. <laughs> Prospecting days. How many days do you actually prospect it? Now, if you don't know those numbers, that's okay, people. But it's not okay not to know what you need to do next year. Does that make sense? Yeah. This year's gone. We already talked about that. But we're going to be working next year, okay? Any question on this? Any questions? All right, here we go. Next page, please. What do I need to do in 2023? All right. Who's the listing agent in this room? All of us. All of us. Are. Who said all of us? You? What's your name? Steve. Steve. Good. Everyone in this room, everyone in this room should be raising their hand. See, I knew... Eight years ago, before I started, before I even got licensed, I knew that I was going to become a listing agent. I just knew that. I knew I was going to have to work with some buyers. I also knew that. But I knew that my strategy, that my game was going to be to become a listing agent. Can anyone tell me why it's better to be a listing agent? Please. Higher commission, but long-term game plan. There you go. So... As a, as a business owner, as a, as a entrepreneur, as a self-employed person that I am, I don't like having a boss. I never have. I don't like no one tell me what I should be getting paid. I don't like people telling me do this, do that. And so as a real estate agent, you have two choices. One, to become a listing agent or two, become a buyer's agent. A buyer's agent is someone that gets employed by the listing agent. The listing agent in our industry is the boss, is the one running the show. Listing agent employs buyer's agents. Listing agent employs title. Listing agent employs escrow. Listing agent employs home warranty. I mean, everyone in the transaction is controlled by one individual, and that is the listing agent. So whether you are a listing agent now or not, I need you to start thinking as a listing agent. Man, JJ, maybe I should strategize and learn how to become a listing agent in 2023. Good thought. Who wants to make more money in 2023? Skills. Listing agents. Because when you're a listing agent and you know your stuff, you're gonna show up to someone's house with such a great confidence, you're gonna walk into a room, and before you even open up your, your, your mouth, they're looking at you, you're like, oh my God, this guy's like, he must be very good. Look at, look at the way he dresses or look at the way she's dressed. In their mind, they already wanna hire you. In their mind, they already wanna work with you. Now, what comes after, it really matters. What you show to them on your presentation and how you present to them will also matter. How much do you want to get paid in uh, when you take a listing? Are you going to be a discount agent or are you going to be a value, high value listing agent? You have to decide that too. I remember going into a, a um, Tom Ferry event. Who knows what Tom Ferry is? Years ago, maybe 20, 
14, 2015, and um, during his event, he said, he asked the whole, the whole room, he said, what's the standard uh, 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 commission in, in our industry? And guess what everyone said? Six, five. Three. Three. Stat. Two. For the most part, everyone said six, because that's like we hear, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and then he said, okay, why? Who set that standard? And everybody's like, oh, no, sure. who did? But no one knew. It was just, it was an industry standard, 6%. And on those notes, I still have those notes on one of my notepads. On those notes, I, I made a decision that I was going to become a, a, a higher value listing agent. And my standard is going to be 7%. I knew that the only way to get a 7% was going to be to increase my skills, my value proposition, that way I presented to my, to my clients and what I had to offer to my clients. And guess what I started taking? 7% listings. Now I coach people on how to take 7% listings, even in this crazy market. And you're probably wondering why, why would anyone want to pay you 7% versus Someone that is offering 3%. Right. It's very simple. Value. Some of us get our custom suits and we pay high ticket for that. And some of us go to where I bought my first suits when I started to uh, one of those places that you buy, buy two suits for $99. Downtown. Downtown, <laughs> Downtown right? <laughs> true story. True story. When, when I... When I first started doing real estate, I, I knew I had to be wearing a suit, yet I was dead broke. I couldn't afford a custom suit. I couldn't afford a suit from Macy's. So I found a place that they sold two suits for $99. They gave me a belt, socks, I mean, the whole thing. Like everything, literally, for $99. And, and, and so, you understand what I'm saying? And so, in, in our industry, there's going to be two types of clients. One, that see the value, and the other type that don't care who they hire and how their transactions go, they just want to pay the low, uh, a low commission. Not my ideal clients. I know who my ideal client is. My ideal client is someone that knows and values my business, my proposition, who I am, and what I'm going to be able to deliver to them. See, we have to be very clear on who your ideal client is. Who, will, who in this room wants to work with someone that does not see the true value in you? Who in this room wants to work with someone, someone that instead of lead, uh, uh, following your lead, they lead you and they tell you what to do? I see someone's like back there, she's like, not me. <laughs> people, it happens every day. To people like us, professionals. They go to a listing appointment and because they don't have nothing, nothing in the pipeline, they get pumped by a seller. No, 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 no. I don't want you taking photos. No, 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 no. Because I, you know, I don't want that in my house. I don't want you put up, I don't want you put up a sign. No, because I don't want my neighbors to know. No, 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 no. I don't want that social media thing. They literally tell you how to do your job. Not with me. Please. How many listing listings have you taken on and sold before you started charging 7%? I think it was my second year in, in real estate. After my second year. Mind you, I started listing in my very first year. I knew it was going to be... My, my very first two transactions were listings. I knew that I was going to become a listing agent and not just a, a whatever listing agent or an average listing agent. I knew I was going to be, become a, 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 a top listing agent. I knew that. And so why am I sharing this with you? Because right here, this is where like you have to determine who are you going to become? How are you going to run your business? Are you going to be an average agent or are you going to level up your skills and, and, and show higher value to your clients. Because listen, as a listing agent, you control the market. You control the listing. You control the commission. 7%, 7% buyer's agent, 2.5, 2.75. The rest I was keeping. 
I was making twice as much in one sale, in one transaction than buyer's agents in two. I start to get paid. I'm the one to put in all the work. I'm the one with the high skills. By the way, you always want to disclose this to your sellers, okay? Don't hide it from them. You let them know. And when they understand, they see the value, they have no problem paying you a higher commission because at the end of the day, what do you think they care the most? How much you make or how much they take home? How much they take home. Seller, let me ask you a question. What's more important to you? How much I make or how much you take home? That's exactly what people like you hire me. Let me show you exactly how I'm gonna make sure that you take home the most that I could possibly make you. Fair enough? The rest was history. Pull out my pen, here you go. Done deal. 7% listings. Get me? All right, let's get back on here. Number one, how many listings will you take in 2023? I really want you guys to, to challenge yourself on this, okay? Like, like, please challenge yourself. So, who took uh, five listings more? Uh, five listings in 2022. Raise your hands. At least five listings. One, two, three, four. Okay, more than ten listings. One, two, three, four. Good. More than twenty listings. Okay, good. People, the rest of you guys. That means you guys took less than ten listings. Less than five listings in in, in the whole year. I want to challenge you to double your numbers in 2023. So if you take five listings, put 10. I am telling you, it's going to be such a great market for listing agents. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you people, there's going to be people like really needing a great listing agent in this upcoming year. It's going to be a lot of listings, a lot of listings. So I would say double down on whatever you did in 2022 for your listings. Double down, challenge yourself, please do that, okay? Now, number two, how many listing appointments must I go on? Good. I don't know if some of you guys know your, your uh, ratios in regards to listing uh, appointments to listings taken. But if you don't know your ratio, then give yourself at least a 50% ratio, meaning if you want to take 10 listings, you have to go to 20 to take 10. 50% ratio. You understand? Now, if you're at an 80% ratio, 8 out of 10 listings point you go to, you slam, good. You know your ratios. How many do you need to go to to make sure that you take those listings? Okay. 10. If you're a 50% ratio, then you must go at least 20. Number three, how many buyer sales? Who also understand there's gonna be like a madhouse with buyers wanting to buy? It's gonna it, it's gonna be like like a buyer's market. It's start, starting to be a buyer's market. You're gonna start seeing the MLS listing agents offering at three, three and a half. Up to 4% on the buyer side. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, good. People, get excited about this. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is a time that he's like, you capitalize. Come on now. So how many how many families do you want to help in 2023? Buy a house. How many families do you want to help buy a house in 2023? Write it down. Again, how many consultations must you do? Get, again, play the same ratio. Who here, by a show of hands, has a, a buyer's consultation uh, uh, presentation put, to, put together? Who knows what that means? One, two, three? Let me, let me explain really fast. A buyer consultation or presentation is to, it, it goes like this. I'll pick somebody else. Your name? Quinn. Quinn. So you're a buyer. I'm, I'm, I'm the uh, agent. You just got pre-approved by your lender. I'm gonna call you and say, Quinn, congratulations. I just heard they got pre-approved for a million dollars. Oh my God, oh my God, congratulations. The next step, 
is to go ahead and set up a buyer's consultation. Now, during this consultation, we're gonna go through every single thing, every single step that we're gonna go through when buying for a new home, okay? Now, during the buyer's consultation, we're gonna let you know how we're gonna do showings, how many homes we're gonna look at every single day, no more than six homes per day. The reason for that is because I don't want you to get all confused and get all, over, all overwhelmed with all the properties we see on a daily basis. Out of those, uh, of those four to six homes that I show you on the weekend, uh, we're gonna select at least one to two or three homes to submit good offers. Now those offers, they're gonna have to be written down in a certain way that they're gonna get accepted. Now in today's market, we're gonna be able to negotiate closing costs, we're gonna be able to negotiate buy downs, we're gonna be able to structure in a way that your offer is gonna get accepted. You do want your offers to get accepted, correct? Correct. Okay, good. You ready for that? Yes. Now, once we get our offer accepted, we're gonna do this. Basically, it's literally showing them future pacing the whole transaction. What do you think happens when you explain to your buyer the whole process before they even get started? What do you think happens right there, Mama? You set the expectations. Set the expectations. Why is that important? So nothing was like, oh, Listen, they know what you expect from them and you know what they expect from you. You understand? If if she would have said, no, 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 I want you to show me 20 houses a day. Mm -hmm. Guess what Jay would have said to her? No. Yeah, that's not how we roll here. <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. Now, I would say in a nice, polite way, and at that moment, I will determine if it's someone that I want to work with or I want to maybe pass on to somebody else. Because if someone's not going to follow my lead, do you think I want to waste my time with that person? The answer is no. Absolutely no. Who's a professional here, people? Say, I. I, I am. am. You are. Do you tell them how you're going to conduct your business to help them buy or sell the house? They don't get to tell you how to do your job. And if they do, you are doing a poor job showing yourself as, as that profession that you truly are. Make sense? Yes. yes. So how many consultations must you do? Again, you have to get in front of people, let them know the, the benefits about buying a house in order for them to say, okay, good, connect me with your lender. Okay? Because a buyer's consultation is almost like a listing presentation. You have to go and talk to certain buyers in order for them to say, okay, got it. Connect me with your lender. So how many of those do you need to do? How many of those do you need to call or DM and send that video to before they say, yes, actually, like I don't have all my down payment, but you tell me that I could get sales credit, and if I, if, if I qualify for a down payment assistance program, I'm in, set me up with your lender. See, that's how many of those do you need to do to hit X amount of sales in 2023? Write it down. How many how leads do you currently have who knows what a hot lead is? Please back there. Ready now. Ready now. Someone that's ready to list, someone that's ready to buy. Okay? People ask, uh, often ask me, JJ, what do you, how do you consider a hot lead? Well, the way I consider a hot lead is someone that wants to do something now or in the next 30 days. That's a hot lead. A warm lead is someone that's telling me, yeah, I want to buy, but like, mm, maybe like, maybe uh, February, March, somewhere around there, that's a warm lead. A cold lead is someone that just says, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, just call me next, next year. That's a cold lead. I am not wasting my time with someone that is cold. They don't know what they want. They're not motivated, they're not excited. I don't wanna waste my time. Hot lead is someone that's ready to do something now or in the next 30 days. A warm lead, uh, 30 to uh, 90 days. Okay? Anything past that, it's cold. Put on the back burner. Don't waste your time. Come back to them three, four months from now. Focus on your hot, warm leads. How many hot leads do you have? Okay? You should have them read down. <clears throat> How many warm leads do you have? And the reason for that is because I want you to know that those two, five and six, they're gonna carry over to 2023. 
See, if they're a lead, that means that they're still not an escrow, they're still not listed. It's not an actual transaction, but can they turn into a transaction in January, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Absolutely, those are carry over. They're gonna carry over to the next year. So that's why I want you guys to write them down because I want you to start thinking already, okay, I have two hot leads, have two warm leads. Those are four transactions already that I'm gonna start my year with. I'm gonna go after them. Start thinking. How many total transactions are you really, really gonna do this year? 2023. Again, this is why I want to challenge you guys. Just go crazy, people. <laughs> I'm telling you, what's the worst that could happen? It won't happen. You, sh you fall short? Do you understand what I'm saying? But what if you do freaking hit your goals? Imagine that. Right? I mean, shoot. Farther than the Bahamas and and Dubai, shit, I mean, you can go anywhere and celebrate. Total transactions, how many total transactions? Who here in this room is going for minimum 20 transactions next year? Okay, good. Uh, how about 30 transactions? Okay, how about 40 transactions? Same, same hands. How about over 50 transactions? Only three of you guys over 50 transactions? Four of you guys, good. People, I am telling you, there's gonna be so much business out there that if you plan it right and you strategize good, you're gonna make a lot of money in 2023. There's a lot of fear, a lot of negativity going on in our industry already. Talking about, oh my God, the market, oh my God, oh my God. Who's heard some of that? Yeah. Do you believe that there's going to be a lot of our colleagues checking out? Yes or no? Yes. yes. That means, people, that means there's going to be more opportunities for the people that really want, that really want to succeed, that really want to win in 2023. Why not you? Why not you? Double down. Whatever it is that you did in 2022, how about I just double it? Say, I'm going to, do I'm going to double it. Why not? Go crazy at number seven, please. And how much do you want to earn? Come on, people. Remember, it's not about the transactions. It's about the commission earned per transaction. I explained to you how I would make twice as much in one listing compared to buyer savings. So I wouldn't work as hard, and I would make way more. I was in the driver's seat. I was controlling the commission and everyone else. Who wants to be on the driver's seat? Come on, people. We all do. So how much do you want to earn? How much commission do you need to earn? I guess the, the key words need, because uh, most of us, have we, I would like to, I want to. No, 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 no. How about you need, write it down, need. How much do you need to earn in 2023? Make it almost like a non-negotiable, people. Non-negotiable. People, people, when I when I tell them that I door knock for the first two years of my of my career, I know people don't believe me. They're like, Bro, you door knock two years? Come on. I am telling you to the point where my wife and I will door knock. Back then, she was a real estate agent, but she's she's always supported me. We will door knock even on rainy days with an umbrella, suited and booted. And people would think I was a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> I'm kidding you not. Listen, it's funny, but it's, it, it's true. There's an no baby. It was the $99 suit. I'm, I'm telling you, people would think that I was a Jehovah Witness. And they would be like, they, 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 they would feel sorry for us. They were like, come in, come in, come in. Like, don't, like you're getting wet, come in. I'm like, all right. Tell me twice. Do you understand what I'm saying? Commitment, people. Commitment. Non-negotiables. 2023. Non-negotiables. Yes. Would you do like a form area or would you like go on to Yeah, so no, no, no. That's a great question. So I will, I will pick out uh, and then zip code blocks. So one day I will have it, I will print the whole map 
and 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 uh, one day I will <clears throat> say, all right, this t this day Monday I'll door I'll, I'm door knocking all these homes here, and I'll highlight it. Monday Tuesday I'll, I'm door knocking all this. Literally, I'll go through freaking tracks like no like no other. I knew within a, a certain amount of properties, I knew there's going to be a buyer seller. I just knew that. I mean, common sense tells me that someone wants to buy and sell. Now, nowadays, I know that there's better ways to do it. The who's title here, right? Now I know that there's better ways to do it. You just have to hit up your title rep, and they'll say, well, listen, this neighborhood, the turnover rate is high, hit them. As a matter of fact, most of the people are selling there, they're, 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 they're between this age and that age. I mean, they bought this year. I mean, they give you all the stats and all the information. Back then, I didn't know anything. I just knew this much, that sooner or later, I was gonna come across somebody that wanted to buy and sell. That's why I say my first two years in, in the industry, seven days a week, no effing lie, my wife is here. Um, hustle, that was mainly it. My thing was hustle. I didn't know skills, I didn't have the skills, but I had that one thing, hustle. It was a non-negotiable. I came to, the, to, to our industry with only $1,500 reserves. $1,500 meaning nothing. And so I had to win, I had to find a buyer, I had to find a seller, it was a non-negotiable. When people were partying the weekends, I was door knocking, doing open houses, calling, studying my craft, just because I knew, it, to me it was a non-negotiable. What is that, right here number eight? What is a non-negotiable commission that you need to earn in 2023? Make it a non-negotiable, people. Yes. Uh, just to follow up, how many times a year, or like within six months, would you go back to that same Track. Um, I would say every two months. Now, watch. What I started doing is that I, my, my intention was to make sure I, 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 I talk to every single person in, in that neighborhood. So I, I, was, I started tracking the doors that would not open. So I could come back later and talk to them. You understand? Mm -hmm. So as I was doing it more and more, I started, started getting a little more strategic about it. I started tracking things down, numbers. I started perfecting my pitch to the point where I was like, okay, well, I gotta cut time so I can't uh, door knock and walk all the way to the, the walkway and go all the way around and go all the way to the next house. I can't do that no more. It takes too time, too much. So I'm just gonna door knock. Nobody opens. I'm just gonna literally freaking cross the little fence. <laughs> and just go the and it's gonna save me time. And I'm telling you, that's why I started doing yes or no. My wife used to go door knock with me. She used to walk with her heels and everything. And she, babe, I can't do this. But we just go around, just catch up to me. I couldn't wait. You understand? It's a non-negotiable. And so that was one of the things I started doing different, better. And my pitch, my script was uh, also got better. Because I used to, uh, I started with a, my fairy, Tom fairy, I don't know, someone's script, and it was too fucking long. <laughs> and I was like, I don't got time for that. I just need to like know if they, they want to buy or sell. And my pitch after was like, no, I don't want to know buyers. I want a seller. Matt, one quick question. My name is Jake, your local real estate agent, my, my wife, uh, Ruby. I just have one question. Have you thought about selling anytime soon? Boom, very fast, seconds. Um, Matter of fact, I have been thinking, good, that was a fucking lead. No, okay, on to the next one. Or no, tell me more about that. How long you lived here? Have you, if, if we can make you a, a good offer in your house, we you consider selling. Have you thought about, you know, maybe looking to uh, buy into a, a bigger home or downsizing? See, nowadays I teach people on how to strategize and how to get a yes from a no. Because no's, a lot of times doesn't mean that it's a no, it just means ask me a different way and I may say yes to you. Ask me a multiple uh, time and I may reconsider your offer. You understand? But back then I was just going after them. Like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. I was just hungry. <laughs> hungry, people. See, when you're hungry, you don't care what's on the, on the table, you just fucking eat it. Yes or no? Story about life. That's true. You don't fucking care. People are like, oh, I'm, I'm fasting. I'm hungry, I'm eating that shit. <laughs> yes or no? 2023, people, you have to be hungry. 
you have to be hungry. You understand? Mm -hmm. People will know, damn, hungry. Let your action do all the talking, people. <clears throat> you have to be hungry in 2023. You have to have non-negotiables. You have to be committed. More than ever, you have to level up on skills. More than ever, you have to know how you go and present yourself. Now than ever, you have to dress up. Listen, it's very casual and very easy. It's very comfortable to wear a polo shirt. I, I love polo shorts, a shirt. <laughs> um, uh, listen, listen, I, I, I do, right? However, I understand. Thank you. How? She said he's got a beanie too. <laughs> <laughs> how does that work today? Right? Magic. How, however, you have to understand, people, that people will hire you based on your first impression. That's just how, how it is. We judge people based on their, 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 the way people are dressed. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do we judge people based on their car they drive? Yes. yes. Come on, people. Yes. 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 Let's go. 2023, we have to... Yes, come on, people. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, uh, and listen, not everyone has to do it. I'm just saying that that's what I would do. Do you understand? You don't have a suit? Good. Go... I'll give you the address of where I bought the two for ninety nine dollars. <laughs> that's not a, that's an excuse, <laughs> right? For you ladies, you know it, it takes very little for you ladies to look good. You know what I mean? You like just put on the makeup and you guys look good. You, you get me? <laughs> but, but you understand what I'm saying? It takes so much more effort for a gentleman for a guy to like kind of like have way look decent. You know what I mean? Mm. That's a lot. I feel like there's some fighting going to go down here. Like, <laughs> like, we have to put makeup on. Nah, no, 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 you don't have bad heels. No, but you think you do. But it, 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 it what? To fix my hair. Imagine us. <laughs> imagine us guys. You know, putting on makeup and all that eyelashes and all stuff. Like, we, we, like, like we can't do that. You guys can. You understand? <laughs> I feel the need, all right? Some days I just want to... Yeah. Some days I want to step it up a little, yeah. that's all. Right? So, yeah, so so people, I'm telling you, 2023 has got to be different. Now, let's talk about source of business. Where are we going to go after our business, people? Now, before you start uh, 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 doing this exercise, I want you to think about, go back to 2022. Where did most, if not every single one of your transactions come from? Okay, so if you, uh, let's just, I don't know, let's just say somebody here closed 10 transactions. I need to break them down and know where every single one of those 10 transactions came from. Either they came from social media, COI, past client, door knocking, phones, paid ads, paid leads, or open houses. Where did they come from? Break them down. On the right side, please, people. Break them down on the right side. Break them down. It doesn't have to be exact. But I hope you guys know where most of your business came from. So you need to understand this. And the reason you need to understand this is because based on how you uh, sold and where most of your business came from in 2022, that is how we're going to approach and that's how we're going to strategize in 2023. See, if most of my business came from past clients, guess what I'm going to do in 2023? I'm going to double down, triple down. I'm going to 10x my, ten, my past clients. I'm going to pay more attention to my uh, past clients. I'm going to call more often. I'm going to go to maybe give them a $10 gift, uh, Starbucks gift card. Set up, send them a, 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 a estimate of their home. Uh, um, uh, how do you call it? A CMA, a free CMA, right? But what if most of your business came from door knocking? Well, Maybe you want to double down door knocking. So in order for me to tell you and help you on how to restructure 2023, you must know where your business came from. So just know your numbers. Some of us, again, some of us maybe most of your business came from open house. I don't know. From social media. I don't know. 
Where did it come from? Write it down on the right side, please, people. And then what I'm going to need you to do, it's on, on the left side, <coughs> on, the, on, the, on the opposite side on your sheet, I want you to write down where your business is going to come from in 2023 based on the number of transactions you say you're going to close. Now, there's different, different sources of business that you could go after, okay? If you're not using social media to generate business people, wake up. Social media is a great source to generate business. My wife gets 99.9 .9 of her business from social media. People, they just, hey, I want to buy a house. I want to sell a house. Social media. If you're not on social media, let's make a little side note because that should be part of your strategy for 2023. You have to rebrand yourself, right? You have to update your social media profile pictures, your bio. You have to create new content, better content. You understand? Social media, it's key. It will be key. There's two things I've been coaching for three years. <clears throat> two things that can literally retire people here in this room. Number one is uh, database. Number two, social media. Write down as a side note. Two things that can retire people in this room. Database. Number two, social media. Who's been in business here for over 10 years? Back there, here. Both of you guys should have a database full of people where even if you didn't show up, if you work your database correctly, that will make enough money for the whole year. Yes, no, ma'am? How about social media? All right. Do we all have access to social media? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Good. Work your social media. Pay someone to help your social media if you don't know how to work it, if you don't know how to do it. Invest in your business. This is investing in your business. See, I believe that if you work your social, your, your, your database, and you call, you send business uh, uh, postcards, emails, you know, text, DMs, if, if you do a, a uh, client appreciation party for past clients, if you do that kind of stuff, you're going to get business. That's just how it is. How about social media? All you have to do is just post every day. You, should, you guys should be posting today. Listen, I'm here, business planning. I want to help 100 families this year. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this video right now, and if you're thinking of buying or selling, I want you to send me a DM because I have a great business, uh, 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 a, a great uh, Christmas gift for you. Social media didn't cost you anything. Yes or no? Yeah. You get to a point where you have thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers in social media. All you have to do is just post and the business will come to you. It's happening for her right here. Mm -hmm. Two, three years ago, when she started doing real estate, the one thing that I told her, you need to do is be all over social media. Babe. But I don't like people know my business. <laughs> I'm public. I, I'm, I'm private. You know. I'm, do you want to sell? Yeah. Do you want to sell a lot? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Social media. Two and a half, three years later now, she's got, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of, of followers, uh, millions of, 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 of views and all this stuff. And her business comes from social media. Two people, database and social media. So when we're looking at source of business for 2023, do you think maybe social media should be one of your sources? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Please, people. Okay. The next one, COI, <clears throat> center influence. Come on, people. We all have them. How many are your uh, of your transactions are going to come from your COI? Break them down. How many of your deals are going to come from your past clients? Break it down. So you already by now should have how many deals you're going to do for 2023. And this is where now you start breaking them down. You start with the top two that made you the most money in 2022. On, the, on that one, you want to double down. And then the rest, you, you, you kind of like break it down. Based on whatever it is that you want to do. Some people don't like doing open houses. All right, skip that one. 
Some people don't like calling phones. Okay, skip that one. Door knocking, whatever. Based on what you need to do, I want you guys to break it down. Are some of you guys gonna door knock? I believe that more than ever, people wanna have that one-on-one -on -one face interaction with you. Door knocking should not, I mean, sounds like a great idea to me. Get in front of people, door knock. You know, one of the things that I, I didn't write down or I wouldn't put on the presentation was, um, uh, <clears throat> I call it Walmart and, uh, and Costco parking lots. Who knows how many people walk in and out out of Walmart and Costco on a minute basis? A lot. Can every single one of us make some flyers or just take a bunch of your bench carts and go to any of those parking lots and just shake hands and, and give, pass out your information? Can everyone in this room do that, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Imagine if you do that once a week for like two hours a day. How many people or how much business can you generate that if you do it on a consistent basis all 2023? <laughs> Will they allow it? I don't give a shit if they allow it. I'm doing it. <laughs> People, I don't. Listen, listen. When you're hungry, you ask for permission or you just fucking grab it and eat it? <laughs> Grab it and eat it. Gangster. Grab it and eat it, people. That's right. If they, if, if they, if they call the, the security on me, I'll fucking go around. I'll hide from that dude or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> go to the next Walmart. Go to the next parking lot. Go to the gas station. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. It's about how hungry are you gonna be in 2023? Woo! You understand? People, I am telling you, I don't give a shit if they, if they allow it or not. I, I don't, I'm not going to ask for permission. I'm just going to do it. It's not like I'm doing something illegal here. I'm, listen, I've been trying to feed my family back home, son. People respect that, by the way. There's going to be a couple pricks here and there. Never mind them. Just go to the next parking lot, next Walmart. Don't worry about it. So again, if you want to add something like that, good. Um, if you want to add uh, uh, networking events, please do that. Can you get business for networking events, yes or no? Absolutely. Yes. yes, write it down. Phones, oh my God, I'm so passionate about phones. So from day one, I knew that I did not want to door knock forever. <clears throat> and I knew I, uh, I was gonna become a great uh, phone prospector. And so from day one, I started practicing my phone skills. And, uh, <clears throat> and it got to a point where like most of my business was from, from, uh, from calling. Listen, all you have to do, people in this room, pick up the phone and call someone random. I will have her do that in the beginning, and she'll be so scared and timid. The phone that seat that she'll shake. So please, babe, no, I don't want to do it. Just got that call, right? They don't even, they can't see you. Just, just yeah. do it, right? No makeup. <laughs> but, the, <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, <clears throat> most of the people in this room, they're intimidated to this, to this thing called cell phones. And the reason for that is not because of. Of, of, of nothing but what is going on in, 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 in your head. There's a lot of fear. What, if, what, what is uh, uh, the people of, uh, scared of? Well, what if they ask me something I don't know the answer to? What if they throw an objection at me and I don't know how to handle it? You understand? Yeah. Objection. Well, what if you knew every single objection in the book? And what if you knew two to three ways to handle every single objection they could throw at you? Can then, then maybe you get on the phone, yes or no? Yes. Good. What if you were so goddamn confident that you pick up the phone and you know that with a 10 dials you will get a list of appointment? Will you get on the phone, yes or no? Yes. yes. Skills. And so from day one, I started working on my phone skills to a point where like, I can call anyone and I'll close on them. I'm a beast. I believe I'm a beast. See, I believe that. I don't care if you guys believe that or not. I believe that. And because I believe that, guess what happens? 
<clears throat> shit happens when I'm on, when I get on the phone. So I, I often tell people, look, your your phone. I know uh, Apple. They sell for like three thousand dollars nowadays, right? It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's, a, it's an expensive business expense. Yes or no? Yes. But it's a business expense. But this phone is not worth two three thousand dollars. This phone is worth millions of dollars. See this phone, millions of dollars. Why? Because I'm going to utilize this as a tool to make me all the money that I want. How many of these uh, of you guys in this room are going to pick up the phone and get your business from the phone? All you have to do, people, I'm telling you, there's title reps here. Can I get a list of phone numbers, please? They'll give you a list of everything and anything you want. Yes or no? I am telling you. I'm sorry, listen. Yeah. Maybe. You're being recorded. But, 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 well, yeah, they're only going to give you a, a, a small little list. Okay? Right? But you understand what I'm saying? Listen, people, you can get phone numbers nowadays. You pay uh, 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 a data provider $100 a month. They'll give you every number that you can think of. All you have to just pick up the phone and ask for business. One of the things I want you guys to write, them, uh, write, write down on this one for 2023 is going to be the following. Absentee owners, call them. Send them a postcard. Send them a letter. Find them on social media. Who's that? Absentee owner? That? Absentee owner is someone that owns a home, but it does not live there. It's like a, like a rental or an investment property. Look for the ones, especially the ones that live out of state. You need to call them your name back there. Veronica. Veronica. Hey, Veronica. JJ here, a local real estate professional from California. Hey, uh, the reason I was calling you because I noticed that you own a home here in, uh, in Los Angeles. It looks like you owned it for like eight years now. That's correct. Okay, okay. Um, question. Have you consider? Have you ever considered selling this property to capitalize on the market before it drops in value? Yeah, definitely. That that would be a good idea. Oh, good idea. Okay, so so I, I guess I called the right person. So Veronica, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and, and uh, give you an offer, an all cash offer in your property, or give you an option to list with us. Which one, if you had to sell your property, which one would you be more likely to accept? An all cash offer as is, we take over all the tenants and all the everything behind it, or what you maybe would like to list your home and get top dollar for it. All cash offer. All cash offer, good. Who's got a, an investor or who in this room knows someone that is an investor and could buy a house below market value? Everyone, everyone should have an investor or two. You understand? Mm -hmm. Absentee owners will be a great source of business for 2022, 2023. Okay? Any questions on here? Did everyone already break down how they're gonna go after their business for 2023? Everyone should already know, people. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take three sales from, from open houses. I'm gonna go uh, five past client deals. Uh, I'm gonna go after 10 social media deals. And I'm gonna go for five phone deals. Out of Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, which one is the hottest out of the three? TikTok. TikTok. No doubt. <clears throat> TikTok. Oh my God! You do a video, <laughs> you go viral from 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 no video to one video go viral. Now you have hundreds of thousands of people following you, hundreds of thousands of views every time you post something. Imagine, crazy. Uh, uh, by the way, it doesn't have to be scripted. That's a cool thing about TikTok. You don't have to be scripted. As a matter of fact, most of the videos that go viral on TikTok are regular videos of like this, <laughs> not scripted. Because people, people that are on that platform are people like all of us that you know we we, we have regular conversations, regular interactions. So I would say number one, TikTok. Okay. Any question on this? All right, here we go. Ready your yourself for success. I call the circle of life, and I promise you, I'm not going. I'm, I'm not going to go um, Tony Robbins on you or anything like that. 
Although I love Tony Robbins, I was listening to him this, this morning. But, but I believe that your personal and business are married to each other. Your personal and business life are married to each other. When you're having issues at home, can you perform to the highest and top in your business? Yes or no? No. No. How about when, you, when you're having no business, can you go home and have a beautiful relationship with your family? Yes or no? No. No. So they go side to side. You understand? So the circle life, I call it, let's go ahead and rate yourself on the circle life. From a level one, from a number one to 10, where do you rate yourself on the spiritual side? Start rating yourself, please. From a level, from a one to 10, where do you rate yourself on the spiritual side? Where do you rate yourself on your health side? From one to 10, where do you rate yourself on the personal side? You, this, this information you don't have to show to know this is personal. How about in your business? Where do you rate yourself on a business uh, point of view from 1 to 10? I want, also want you to rate yourself on the financial side. And very important on your family. How, how's your family relationship? You know, how are you doing you know, with your wife, husband, your kids? Mom, dad, or brother, siblings, right? How are you doing there? Rate yourself. Now listen, team. Now listen, team. If you're rating yourself anything below a five and below, I really need you to pay attention to that area. You're in, in what I call a danger zone. You're like walking like this, like right. You're you're limping, like 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 you're almost down. You understand? Well, no, that's not a gangster. No, no, that's, a gangster is like you know. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like if you're like trueco, walking trueco, like crooked. You know what I mean? Like there's 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 something wrong. If you rate yourself at five or below any of those areas, I really need to pay close attention. So I often tell the story, uh, five years ago, uh, we were having, our family were going through through some uh, family hardships. You understand? Who's ever gone through that? And, uh, <clears throat> and I knew that something had to happen. I knew something had to happen. Or else everything was gonna go to shit, right? My relationship with, with, uh, between me and my son was not there uh, with my daughters. It was kind of like not there. It was like her and I, and so I knew something had to happen. And uh, and and so when I did a self analysis, I figured out that the one thing that needed the most attention at that moment was my, my spiritual side. I, I didn't have a God connection. Like I, I was just being, you know, I was just being me. You understand? And I thought, oh shit, sh things aren't gonna work out. Well, no, not until I I I've, um, I really connected with God and I and I kind of had a breakdown moment. At that moment, I had uh, my oldest son. He uh, one of the reasons him and I were having some friction at that point is because he went in and uh, he he got his girlfriend pregnant. And me, as a father. I thought had done a good job of making sure that he did everything right. And he did the complete opposite. So I get it. You know, he was young. But I just, I was just very upset and very, uh, uh, what's that word? Disappointed. Disappointed more than anything, right? And so a relationship was not there. Relationship with my wife, my girls, it wasn't there. <clears throat> But then my, 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 my granddaughter, my very first granddaughter was born. She was a, 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 a what, how do you call it? A micro preemie. A micro preemie. Who knows what that is? It's not a preemie. Yeah, yeah. It's like a micro. It's like, she was like, like, yeah. like, yeah. like this big. Not that, that's not. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. It's part of the presentation. It's part of the story. But you understand, it's like it's like a 
She was like, she was so sensitive, so tiny, that when we heard, I, I remember that day, like it was yesterday, I, I was at my uh, at my office, I was what I did every day, calling, I was standing up calling, and I get that call. Crystal was rushed to the hospital. The baby was born. And we don't know if she's gonna make it. <laughs> I'm telling you guys right now, when, <clears throat> Give me one second, okay? When uh, when when I went to the hospital and I saw it for the first time, excuse me, okay. I cried to God and I asked for forgiveness, and I said, God. Oh my God. I know you're there. I know you've always been here. And if this is what you are putting in front of me to humble me, I accept that. But please, God, do whatever you got to do and let her live. I promise you. I promise you. And only him and I know what went on during that conversation. See, I needed to have that spiritual bonding, that connection with, with my God. And I knew, now I know that God has a perfect timing for everything. I know that. Because I know that even, even if it would have been a week after that, Maybe our relationship would have survived. It was like the perfect timing. Where the whole family forgot about everything and we just came together. And we we're just like, sorry, forgive me. Let's 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 make sure that that, that she's good. And during those whole, uh, all those months, because she was at the hospital all the way to the full length of her uh, pregnancy, it was it was very hard months because every day, every day, literally, we like the doctor said, "Look, we don't know if she's gonna make it next day." It was a daily, a day to day for months, as you can imagine how painful that was, right? <clears throat> but during that moment, I also connected with a guy by the name of uh, Tim Story. Who who knows who Tim Story is? If you don't know who Tim Story is, go look him up. Oh my God, you know him, right, brother? And 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 and, and God came to my life. He he put Tim Story in my life, which he's 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 a, a public speaker, uh, but he's he's also a pastor. And uh, and through him coming into my life, into our lives, and everything else, that spiritual went up. You see. I needed that 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 balance because I think everything else for the most part was kind of like all right, but this one here and this one's here down to the ground. And so, how do you think everything I was was doing not that well? And so, I know personally that everything here, that your circle of life, has to have a, a a balance. Only you know because you're ready yourself. What needs immediate attention, people? Do not ignore it. <clears throat> Pay attention and do something about it. If it's health, you know what you, to, what you need to do. Start eating healthier. Sign up to a gym. You get me? If, uh, if it's uh, uh, family, have that, that conversation with your loved ones. Do some things together. I mean, only you know what you need to do. And the reason I say that is because... I know that if, if you have start having that, that better balance, your business will do better. Listen, I can't show up 